It's another Monday and we got more Supreme news out. This week is potentially one of the better weeks we've gotten for Supreme, so I'm gonna talk about it, obviously. Today, I don't feel like cropping too many pictures out, so I'm gonna sit on the green screen. But if y'all doing up enjoying this video, leave a like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and would enjoy more of this type of content. Click the post notification bells, that way you're notified whenever we post a new video. And don't forget to check out my brand, one.nori on Instagram. We low key over 170 at this point, Go Going strong you feel me let's go ahead and make that shit 200 i'm gonna have some news real shortly about the brand and if y'all trying to follow into it show some love but with all that being said let's get straight to it first things first this week is gonna drop on black friday since it is thanksgiving on thursday supreme normally skips out on that and drops it on friday which is typical and if i'm being honest this week is looking pretty solid bro we got the tnf times square collab box logo balaclavas are this week this little lamp is dropping some heat coming out so let's not waste no more time and get straight to it all the way at the top we got the balaclava this shit is coming in six different colorways my favorite being this olive one right here this shit is nice bro i kind of fuck with this one i just wish that the box logo was black that would have made it better in my opinion but i already have one of these in navy and i don't see myself picking up another one is literally the same shit if i were to get it i'd probably go for the black that was the one i initially went for last year but i ended up taking an l on it these are clean not going like the olive color is my favorite i still do wish it was a black bogo on it but hey beggars can't be choosers let me know what color y'all gonna be going for if you are copping next up we got the g-shock north face supreme watch this one is okay wish the band on it was a regular g-shock band or at least they gave you the option to change it but this hiking band is throwing me off on this one i'm not gonna lie to y'all does come in three colors and if y'all can see the backlight on this is actually blue but it has the supreme logo in it which is kind of clean nice little touch my favorite one would simply be the black bro i would like to keep this shit simple i had a couple g-shocks back in the day and i low-key wouldn't mind having another one i don't know if i'm gonna end up picking this up on release though it's just one of those things where it's hit or miss bro like i said if it would have had regular bands low-key i might have been sold because this shit brings me back to eighth grade type shit ninth grade let me know if y'all gonna be copping these and what color you're gonna be going for if you are personally i fuck with the black and that's it bro we do got this paper table lamp i think it's clean it's like made out of bamboo and shit it's the shoten kojima lamp at first i thought there was two colors my head ass but what i realized is that one of the pictures it's lit the other one it's not honestly if retail isn't too high on this this might be the item that i end up going for this week I might do a little story time for what happened to me with the lost and founds that shit had me pissed bruh i'm not gonna lie that's the most heated i've been at any sneaker release but yeah we do got the tape seam shell jacket this does have the Times square vibe on it which i'm fucking with bro i'm fucking with this one a little bit i kind of just fuck with the all over print one if i'm being honest this gray one isn't bad i feel like you could wear it on a more day-to-day -day basis this yellow one gotta go like it's not for me i'm not gonna lie to y'all this one right here though this shit's clean bro this shit's clean am i tripping or on the time does it say two 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 i know a lot of people got Got that shit tatted and shit a lot of brands with that name on it i don't know at the end of the day this is a clean little jacket bro clean little jacket they finally did something nice with the tnf i'm fucking with this one especially in that times square pattern i guess you could call it we do got the half zip hooded pullover this is a puffy but it's a pullover so i don't know what direction they were going with it definitely took it there this one comes in four colors they basically just added the all black which low-key is expected you feel me supreme normally does an all black tnf and hey if you're trying to cover up from the brickness i feel you you feel me i feel why you would go for this low key yesterday was nippy bro like it was hella cold outside so yeah bro i see why you would cop some shit like this i'm still fucking with this all over print though i don't know why you do got the double sleeping bag this is basically a sleeping bag for two people bro feel me <laughs> but yeah this shit cool you feel me nothing too special i don't really sleep on sleeping bags so i guess i I'm asleep on this sleeping bag. We got the pigment printed hoodie. This is actually not bad, bro. Not bad at all. Basically, it's just a simple overwashed vintage style hoodie with the Supreme TNF on the side of the hood. Something different, something more simple and minimal coming from Supreme, which I do appreciate. Normally, they do these loud ass collabs and it's too much. But on this one right here, I appreciate the simplicity. Just some branding on it. Nothing too crazy. Placement is a little 
little different, but you also do have that vintage feel to it. So I feel like this is a banger, bro. Let me know if I'm tripping in the comments below. I feel like this is a clean, clean hoodie, especially in this brown or the gray. Obviously, they had to come out with the sweatpants. Now, for the sweatpants, I feel the same way, bro. I love the fact that it's just some branding on it. Nothing too crazy with the designs on it. It's something simple that gives it more wearability, in my opinion. I love the fact that it's tonal. It's nothing too loud. Overwashed feel on this looks clean as well. So it's one of those pieces that you could just wear on a day-to-day -day basis. And when you spend money like this on some pants, you kind of want that, bro. So for me, this shit's a thumbs up. I fuck with the brown and the black fire. We got this velour box logo fitted, bro. If it rain, your hat gonna be like 20 pounds, no lie. And the suede gonna be fucked up. Now I must say, this little baseball field design that they have going on on the side of this hat is A1. Like I'm actually fucking with that shit heavy. You got the little fireworks in the background, Supreme Arc logo, the whole baseball field on it didn't just slap some dollar bills on the side. You feel me? This is clean. Material fucked it up for me though. I'm not gonna lie. Like if this shit was just regular fitted material, I might have fucked around and had to cop that olive one. But since it is velour, bro, they could keep that shit. Like why? Why fuck up the material on a great design? You do got this zip up hooded sweatshirt. Yo ho. No, this is one of the ones that we just don't even consider bro like what is going on on this you got the easter color on the side beef and brock dookie color in the middle then the black one these look like ugly christmas sweaters that's all i gotta say bro these shit's trash you got the ccm supreme hockey jersey this isn't bad honestly i haven't freaked the hockey jersey since like seven years ago maybe i had a new jersey devils jersey i don't even know what to say like this looks clean but i'm not really into hockey jerseys that much it's maybe because i hate v-necks bro there's literally nothing that i hate more than v-necks and white shirts bro like a white v-neck is my mortal enemy i'm not gonna lie to y'all like why do you need a v on your neck your neck is round my boy second why do you need white especially some of y'all people out there that got like pitch stains and shit on your shit like bro that's just nasty like just get the shirt the color of the pit stain which is cream gems from nori bro supreme 89 on the back i wonder what the 89 means we'll never know it's cool the black one is cool for sure but will i buy it nah we got this patchwork zip up hoodie this shit got like seven hoodies in one bro they literally took all the scraps from every hoodie they dropped that bricked and put it in this piece right here including some denim bro like this shit got denim leopard plaid camo paisley skulls bro like this shit got a little bit of everything like if you're an abstract all over the place multi-layer type of personality head ass this is for you right here bro for me this shit is a hot mess so i'm gonna leave it right there we do got this pigment printed long sleeve one of those essential pieces bro i see supreme tnf dropping some shit that has more wearability especially these two colors on the left i don't know much about this purple or the yellow brown and black definitely seem like some more essential pieces that you can go wrong with to be honest we do got this crazy looking beanie like please just please stop it bro like just can stop it like nah 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 we good and 120 people i'm glad i get to show y'all this 120 people said they're fucking with this beanie right here like we got this shirling lined flannel shirt now yo i usually hate on the flannel but this one is actually not that bad especially in this like brown and black color i love the old english font on the back it gives it a little bit of a flair to it it has sherpa on the inside you feel me it's like a shacket type vibe and then that black and brown color ain't looking too bad i don't know about the two other ones but that one in the front is pretty decent bro pretty decent i gotta say so myself i need y'all to brace yourselves for this one bro this is the packable ear flap camp cap you could pack this shit up and throw it in the trash what the fuck who said let's make a hat with ear flaps that you could store away somewhere like please tell me in the comments these are the same type of people that be breeding mouses in their basement like bro we don't need nothing related to ear flaps or packable hats like this shit just don't make no sense a packable jacket kind of makes sense you feel me you could pack the little jacket up throw it in a book bag what are you doing with the brim is the brim packable let me know do you store the whole hat in the brim let me know i really need to know like low key please 118 people f with this shit which is the worst part about it like bro if you're literally going on supreme community like yo 
this shit right here <laughs> with the little dongle on the side to tighten it up and the little ear flap shit and you could pack it this the one for me like bro come on son i'm ashamed a little bit i'm not gonna lie we got this world famous jaguar track suit this green one is literally giving me jersey shore when they were in italy vibes like fist pump push-up chapstick type head ass that's what this is giving me right here i don't know son i don't know definitely not at the top for a reason the tnf sweats shit on these that's all i gotta say bro these are ass then you do got the matching suit jacket you know they can't drop the pants without the suit jacket bro these come in the same exact three colors supreme block font on the front little stripes you feel me to let you know what they rocking with and then world famous on the top bro i don't know about these right here it even says new york on the side bro this is some shit that you'll find at the flea market or at the chinese little stores that sold the Yu-Gi-Oh cards back in the day if you live in new york you know what i'm talking about they used to hang shit like this outside for like five dollars i'm not gonna lie yo this is ass bro let's get up out of this we got two more pieces one being the fleece lined beanie i don't know how it's fleece lined you feel me this looks like an old navy beanie for show kind of put the colors together especially with this tan one little navy one is cool the colors are cool but would i buy a beanie like this you just wouldn't catch me rocking some shit like this right here it just wouldn't happen can't catch me in public in this shit last up we got the wax wool six panel i don't know how wax and wool go together because technically isn't wax like a more shiny smoother material and isn't wool literally the fucking opposite it's like a fuzzy suede head ass material how do you do that with this bro like <laughs> i guess supreme has been out long enough that they're running out of options like y'all could just drop this shit as a regular hat bro maybe just the six panel without the wax or the wool you know this shit comes in five colors i don't know which one's worse honestly this shit is making me hot just looking at it that's pretty much everything that's gonna be releasing this week my favorite pieces are obviously this balaclava right here i appreciate it even more after looking at the whole drop list this is kind of nice bro this watch could have been better in my opinion maybe i'm just nitpicking but if it had the regular watch band like these on some shit it would have been cool for me this is a pass though i might just end up going for the little lamp i don't even know where the fuck i will put this shit i'm not gonna lie to y'all but i think i have a voodoo spell on me that attracts me to every supreme accessory that has a supreme box logo on it so i might have to go for this i don't know yet this jacket is looking kind of clean too not gonna lie you got the it's cold outside jacket right here it's dead ass brick though i'm not gonna lie like it's been nippy hey this week is not terrible bro like these wash pieces actually have a fighting chance chance i fuck with these everything else after that is kind of hit or miss for once i actually like a flannel let me know if y'all gonna be copping come black friday remember this drop is on friday this week if y'all enjoyed this shit leave a like on it down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to enjoy more of this type of content click the post notification bells that way you're notified whenever we post a new video follow one nori on instagram my brand is coming soon i'm gonna keep talking about it i kind of have to my bad and two nori archives is at 14 15.7k if y'all fuck with some cool photos i'm gonna scroll through here for you to see if you like anything that i'm putting out go ahead and follow me on nori archives you feel me we've been putting out some quality content on there vintage nostalgia vibes go check that down below i'm gonna link it for y'all i normally don't talk about it too much but yeah bro i got some cool shit going on let me know if y'all fucking with it with all that being said i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace stay up and i'm out